Hi, I'm Catherine Paquet. Let's continue talking about the Cisco Email Security Appliance. And this time we will talk about what we call the Email Security Manager and the mail policies. So this time we will be actually focusing on what you might have noticed since the beginning of the recording where it, sa it says here per policy scanning. And I've referred many times that it's possible to have, let's say, a policy for finance and a different policy for marketing. So when we talk about the email security manager, we are talking about that bottom half of your work queue where you have actually the heavy lifting being done in terms of security for anti-spam, antivirus, AMP, um, content filtering. So what we're dealing with here is actually, we're going to be talking when we talk about the email security manager, is the fact that the process that we're seeing here under this big bracket can be separated and have different antivirus, different um, content filters, depending if the email is going for finance or going to marketing. So where do we go to adjust this? So um, we're going to go under mail policy. And under mail policy, for many, many recordings now, we've talked about incoming mail policies. And we'll start talking also about outgoing mail policies. So we have actually a separate process for incoming and outgoing mail policies. So now we're looking at our mail policies. So the mail policies is meant to be read actually top down. So when we receive an email, the email will be addressed to a, a recipient or from a sender. So either from a sender or to a recipient, which we will actually cover more detail in the next lecture. How do we decide which policies you should be matching again? But let's say that this email matches with sales. Once you, matches with, you, ma you match with one of the policy, your email will actually, that email will actually be filtered according to the rules, to the, the, the different rules from left to right. So it's going to be filtered this way. So that's uh, the email that was addressed to sell will be checked against anti-spam. Our policies are here. For antivirus, we will use the default policy and content filters. So this screenshot actually would be a screenshot that you would have for those of you who might have an older version of the ESA. An older version of the ESA, we did not have actually AMP and we did not have actually gray mail. If I recall, I think gray mail came out around 9.5, 9.7. So we are actually, depending the version of the ESA that you have, you might have two extra columns right here. One would be email, and AMP, and the other one would be gray mail. But let's say you have an older version of the ESA, that would be what you would get. And again, your email top down would actually match against one of the rule. If it doesn't match precisely to rule number one, two, or three, it would actually hit the default policy. Once it matches against one of the policy, we then go left to right. Then we will also handle incoming mail and outgoing mail separately. So for our incoming mail, maybe we want for uh, we'll do anti-spam. Maybe for our uh, antivirus, antivirus we always do it, whether it's inbound or outbound mail, and we'll have a drop positive uh, spam. Maybe we'll do something different for the content filters. Maybe no content filters for inbound mail, but have actually some content filters that if we see the word confidentials, we want to quarantine that email uh, on the way out. How do we discover or how do we distinguish actually inbound messages versus outbound message? And actually, I decided to add this slide because on the previous slide, we do mention that we have incoming policy and outgoing policy. And very often, I'll get that question from student, but how do we, I know if an email is incoming or outgoing? Because especially if, I, if in my ESA, I have only one single, I have only one single, um, uh, a listener and that listener connects to the internet and also connects to my exchange server. How do I know if the mail is incoming, outgoing? 
if we have two listeners, it's a bit easier because our incoming mail arrive on our public listener and our outgoing mail will arrive on our private listener. But when you have only one listener, how do you know if it's incoming or outgoing? Um, so just for your own information, I created this slide. And the best way to know that it's outgoing mail is the mail that falls under the relay list. So if you track a message and the message has hit the relay list when you have a single listener, so in this particular case, I have only one listener, the public listener. Uh, so how do I know if, since all my mail incoming and outgoing hit that listener? Well, I would have to go back into the, uh, my message tracking and try to find actually which message were actually relayed. So if a message is relayed, that means that it's coming from my inside going on the outside. If I were to highlight, if I were to click on that word here, relay list, it would actually bring me to that sender. And that sender actually would be, I know that this happens to be my exchange box. All the other one that we have here are trusted, block, throttle, accepted. So that's email arriving from the outside coming to the inside. We also have one that we see for the first time here, which is TCP re refuse. TCP refuse is based actually on geographical location of the incoming traffic. And I simply say from the get go, I don't care if you have a good reputation score or a bad reputation score, I will simply not talk to those um, to anybody who is on uh, the list of countries. So you can go by, uh, by geographical location, so that would be by list of countries. So let's go back to talking about my incoming and my outgoing mail filters. So uh, when we go to configure our in incoming mail, mail filters and outgoing mail filters, you're going to go, as I mentioned before, under mail policies. And from there, you're going to pick, let's say, incoming mail policy. And this is the, the, the actual uh, GUI that you will get. And you start building your rule, which will be top down. So top down. And we will have actually a criteria behind each of those blue uh, IT staff, sales, and legal. If you click on those, you will have actually a selection, a, change to, a chance to select who would fall within that sales group, or who would, who would fall within that legal group. And if the email qualify for, let's say, the legal group, then it's going to be read left to right. So then we'll, for the, uh, for the anti-spam, we will use a default. For antivirus, we'll also use a default. For the advanced malware, also the default. Basically, the only thing that will be different is that we have, for this guy, a different content filters for the inbound mail if the inbound mail is going to my legal department. So that's it. We just discussed the, the overview of what Email Security Manager is. Uh, for our mail policy. In the upcoming lectures, we will discuss actually how do we do the actual user matching? How do we match an email to a specific policy? Talk to you soon.